All right, the, an objective function and the system of linear inequalities representing the constraints are given, okay? We have some several things we got to do. Number one, we're going to graph the system of inequalities representing the constraints. These are the const, uh, well, I should say these are the constraints. This is going to be your objective function. Number or letter B says find the value of the objective function at each corner of the graph region. Use those values, part C, uh, or from part B. To determine the maximum value, so we want maximum of the objective function for values of x and y for which the maximum occurs. So that's when the objective function comes into play. So we use our constraints to graph. We're then going to, once they're graphed, use the vertices of that graphed uh, set of inequalities to plug into your objective function and then maximize the um, our value. So I'm going to use this page um, as a graph. So here we go. Right off the bat, um, the first first one that we want to do is the x e greater than zero. And as we go, we want to want to be able to, to mark things appropriately. Um, so um, x is 0. That's going to be a vertical line right here at x equals 0. Um, it, it, it's equal to it, so it's going to be a solid line. But it also says it's greater than. So we want to graph. We want to, we want to um, shade to the right of this. And we don't want to shade yet. We're going to wait till we see what the uh, the enclosed figure looks like. Next one is y is greater than zero, uh, and again that's easy enough. That's going to be right here uh, where all the y values are zero, and again that's above this here. The next two uh, will take a little bit more work in the sense that um, um, we got to find a way to graph the, the equation in standard form. Now, clearly, you could always choose to rewrite this as y equals negative 2x um, plus 10. And I shouldn't say equal to, but less than or equal to. I I tend to use the cover-up method. The cover-up method says if x is 0, when this is in standard form, then y is 10. So um, I'm going to plot a point right here at 10. If um, y is 0, then we divide by 2 and get x equal to 5. So 3 equals 5. So those are our two points there. We want to go ahead and, and graph those. Let's see if we can do this right. And again, these are supposed to be solid lines. These, every single one of these are going to be solid lines. Um, let's make sure I get this correct. And um, if I plug in 0, 0 just to test the points, then remember, I'm going to plug this into this equation and ask, ask if 0 is less than 10. And since 0 is less than 10, that's true. We're going to go ahead and shade this side. Okay, we have one more um, equation to graph. And again, I'm going to use... Um, um, the cover-up method. The cover-up method says if x goes to zero, we divide both sides by negative two. We get y is equal to uh, five. So I get a point right there. And again, if y goes to zero, that goes away. We get x equals negative ten. And 
negative 10 is going to be all the way over here. Um, if I go ahead and graph that, we get a, a line that goes through like so, and again, this can be another solid line. It's not too bad, is it? Um, so the, there we go. And, uh, and again, we're going to plug in 0, 0. Um, is 0 greater than or equal to negative 10? That's true. Since that's true, we're going to shade this, this side of that line. Now, I've got four lines creating a, a um, region. Uh, below this, right of this, above this, and left of this gives me this region right in here. All right, so I have four ordered pairs here that I have to look at. Those four right there, uh, I'm going to list these over here. Uh, we've got 0, 0. We've got uh, 0, 5. We've got 2, 6. And we've got 5, 0. And if I plug those into my objective function, x plus 6y equals z, we can then find out what our maximum is. Um, point would be for this objective function, the objective function. So 0, 0 clearly is just going to give us this. 0 plus 30 gives us 30. Uh, 2 plus 36 gives me 38. And 5 plus 0 gives me 5. Clearly that's my maximum. And therefore this ordered pair right here uh, is my objective function. Or, or, the, or I should say the ordered pair that maximizes my objective function. And we're done.